Agriculture in Kenya is the backbone of the economy, contributing about 33% of Kenya's gross domestic product. Agriculture sector employs more than 40% of total population and 70% of the rural population. However, agricultural productivity has stagnated in recent years due to the land losing its fertility and yields decline. Increased destructive tillage practices has led to soil degradation resulting in loss of soil structure and erosion. In addition, farmers face the challenges of insufficient irrigation and rainwater, increasing soil salinity and costly farm inputs making it difficult for them to make a profit and produce enough food to ensure their food security. Low crop yields means less income for the farmer. Conservation agriculture is a farming system that prevents losses of arable land while regenerating degraded lands. It promotes maintenance of a permanent soil cover, minimum soil disturbance, and diversification of plant spices. Anthony Nyongesa tells us more. We have Ya kwa tumesema garama itakuwa ni chini kwa sababu unalima tu sehemu ambazo ndio kutumia peke yake mahali pengine unawacha. Alafu tunasema kuwa uh, wakati unavuna hiyo mabaki ya mimea utalalisha katikati hapo. Kilesha katikati hapa ikianza kuoza itakuwa ni chakula ya ya shamba. Na wakati tumesema msimu mwingine ukirudia rudia tu hizi laini tena. Eh. Sa, tu rudia tu hizo 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 laini for as long as you can. Sa, kwa sababu ambao kukulima hivi tunatambua kuwa uh, mashamba imekuwa ni kidogo si ndio na kitambo zile enzi za mababu zetu walipokuwa kimama mashamba walikuwa wanafanyaje wanalima mahali pamoja alafu wanafanyaje walikuwa na eh? wanaenda kulima kwingine wanaenda kwingine ehe na wakati walikuwa nalima walikuwa nalimaje walikuwa nalima kila mahali ama walikuwa wanafanyaje walikuwa nafieka na kuchimba walikuwa nafieka na kuchimba alafu na kupanda au walikuwa nalima kila mahali ehe na vile walikuwa nafanya hivi wakipanda walikuwa wanavuna kabisa mzuri ehe na baada ya kutumia hiyo mahali kwa muda walikuwa nafanyaje wanaachana naye kulikuwa na sababu ya kuacha ndio hakuna chakula inamaanisha wamelimalima sasa sasa kuna kuna maanisha ukilima mahali kwa muda chakula hiyo shamba inaenda chini so unatakana kuiwacha kupatia muda iweze kuendelea the principles are minimum mechanical soil disturbance, that is minimum tillage, through direct seed or fertilizer placement, permanent soil organic cover at least 30% with crop residues or cover crops and species diversification. Kwa jina naitwa Matthew Otsieno Odipo, nimi ni afisa wa kilimo katika subcounty ya Nambale, county ya Busia. So tunafanya kilimo hai ama kilimo hifadhi kwa sababu tatu. Sababu ya kwanza ni kujaribu kufanya mkulima aweze kuongeza mazao yake, afupate mazao mengi ili aweze kupata mapato zaidi kutokana na kilimo chake. Sababu ya pili ni kuwezesha mkulima aweze kufanya kilimo hata kama kuna tuseme kuna kiangazi ama kuna ile tunasema climate change mkulima aweze ku produce ama aweze kuzalisha so mkulima ataweza kustahili e, zile e, aina tofauti ya mabadiliko ya hali ya anga tumesema kama kiangazi ya tatu ni kuweza kuwezesha mkulima aweze kupata mazao mengi kwa kutumia ile tunasema yani budget yake katika kilimo iwe ni kidogo asiweze kutumia pesa mingi kwa katika uzalishaji wa chakula chake ama aweze kutumia pesa kiasi tu ukilinganisha na ule mkulima ambaye hajatumia eh, kilimo hai mechanized dripping is one of the technologies in conservation agriculture in this technology farmers using a tractor replace the disc plow with a riper or a chisel this is because disc plows destroys the soil structure and creates a hard pan preventing the crop roots from accessing soil water and nutrients before you start ripping your land make sure the riper is level to the ground and adjusted correctly by the help of top link and arms
Ensure the spacing between the tines is set at the required row width, 75 cm or 90 cm, depending on the ecological zones. The lower zones 90 cm, while high potential zones 75 cm, as recommended by the Ministry of Agriculture. This is necessary irrespective of the choice of crop, as all the crops are fitted in the rip lines, mindful of plant population, while reducing soil disturbance during crop rotation. The crumblers should be adjusted to a suitable height in order to achieve the desired ripping depth and break the soil clouds. Adjustments can be done two to three times with test ripping exercise until the desired depth is achieved. The riper should be able to rip a depth of 25 to 30 centimeters to break the hard pan caused by the continuous use of disc plows and other farming operations. Kilimo hifadhi, kuna baadhi ya zile vifaa ambazo zinatumika kutayarisha shamba. Na moja wapo wakifaa ni hiki ambacho munaona, kinaitua ripa. Katika kilimo hifadhi tunasema kuna ule kupunguza ile hali ya kusumbua sumbua mchanga. Yani tu hatulimi hatulimi shamba tukipindua udongo wote katika shamba sasa hiki kifaa kinatumika kulima tu pale kutayarisha mahali ambapo tunaenda kuwekeza mbegu ambayo tunaita inafanya ile tunaita minimum tillage kupunguza kusumbua mchanga na katika ili ili jembe mnaona kuna sehemu tatu si ndio kuna sehemu tutasema ya kwanza hii hii sehemu ya pili na ile ni sehemu ya tatu pamoja uh, tukianza na hii sehemu uh, ina, inasaidia hii kuingia kukupita si ndio inasaidia na maana gani ina, inakata inapatia nafasi na kama kuna takataka haya mabaki kwa shamba pia inasaidia kukata ndio isikuje hii hiyo hayo mabaki asikuje kujifu kujifunga huko hasa kazi yake ni kukata na kuna kufanya kazi kwa yai kwa rais na hii ya pili inapasua sana inapasua mtaro Na hii ya tatu, hii imetua ile mchanga kubwa kubwa, hii na vunja vunja. Na mna hiyo? Na inatua mchanga kubwa kubwa kwa mfawa kama, kama inatengineza wakati wa kiangazi. Ndwa kwa mba inasaidia uh, ile urefu ambayo hii itaingia. Kwa hii ni kana ingie kiwango fulani kuenda chini ambayo ni katikati ya 25-30 cm. Karibu futi moja kuenda chi. Sasa hii kazi yake nyingine inasaidia hiyo depth. Ikiwa hii iko juu, iko chini, hii inainua hii juu. After making sure that the riper is set up correctly, we embark on the actual reaping. A tractor with a minimum of 75 horsepower for a two-time riper is driven across the slope to avoid erosion while establishing the first and the second rip line simultaneously. Once you have established the first and the second straight line, the third rip line should be exactly the same row width from the second one. This can be achieved by aligning the front tractor wheel to the previous rip line. Note that for best results, ripping should be done during the dry season. Avoid reaping while the moisture content is too high as this will lead to further soil compaction. After preparing the land, apply four double handfuls of well decomposed manure per meter of the rip line. Then cover slightly. Don't leave manure exposed to sun. Apply recommended rate of fertilizer in the rip line and finally is to plant on the onset of sufficient rain. Now, let us remind ourselves the benefit of mechanized ripening. We have learned that ripping saves you time. It only takes 30 minutes to rip one acre as compared to 60 minutes required to displow one acre. It saves fuel. Ripping only consumes 4 liters of diesel per acre as compared to 10 liters consumed while displowing. It conserves soil structure and moisture. It also reduces tear and wear of the tractor, hence good for boosting production and safer to environment.
kwa majina naitwa Elda Mariam natoka katika kijiji kinachoitwa Ikondo Hera Village na mbale sub count Busia count mimi ni mkulima tena mimi ni farmer service center ambaye natoa huduma kwa wakulima mimi vile mnaona kwa hii tinga yenye nimekalia lengo la kununua hii, hii tinga ilikuwa kwamba niliona wakulima tulikuwa tunafanya kilimo ile ya zamani ya kulima mara ya kwanza upindua udo mchanga tena urudia mara ya pili na tukafunzo tuka ya kwamba unapolima unaharibu udongo na hapo unapogeuza geuza udongo ni kwamba inapoteza hewa wakati jua inachoma alafu tena so ile erosion inapomvua inaponyesha mingi utapata udongo imebebwa na maji imeteremusha imeteremu, na pia nutri, nutri, za soil zina, zinaisha wakati jua inachoma unapopindwa pindua mchanga yako e, umuhimu wa hii tinga ni kwamba inaingia ndani 30 cm ina break ile inaitwa hard pan ambapo kupitia kwa, kwa break hivyo wakati mvua inakuja kunyesha maji na baki kwa hizi miktara ama lens zenye umepiga na hata jua ilikuwa kali mume wako utastahimili kwa ya, ile unyevu ingali kwa mitaro haijapikwa na jua tena uzuri wa hii tinga unapofanya inafanya unapata mazao mazuri kwa vile hata hautakuwa umeenda umetumia pesa mingi kwa kulima kulima ya kwanza kulima ya pili kulima ya, alafu leta watu wa kupalilia mara ya kwanza na ya pili inakati cost majina zangu ni Amos Ochata Kiteng mimi ni afisa wa kilimo Buhayo Eastward na Mbale Sub County Busia County. Tukitumia aina hii ya kilimo tumeona uh, yields ama mazao yakiongezeka kwa asilimia takriban 15 hadi 20. Hiyo ni kumaanisha ya kwamba tutakapoelekea katika njia hii na wakati ambapo tutaeneza zaidi na wakulima wengi wachukue uh, hatua ya kuingia katika kilimo hai kilimo hifadhi basi yili matatizo ya kila wakati kulia ukosefu wa lishe bora ukosefu wa vyakula itakuwa imepungua kwa sababu aina hii ya kilimo sio tu ya mahindi bali kuna mtama unaweza tumia maharagwe kunde unaweza tumia uh, mboga za matunda vyote vinawezekana kwa hivyo uh, leo bado tunazingatia na bado tunahimiza ya kwamba kilimo hifadhi ni kilimo ambacho itatusaidia katika wadi hii na katika subcounty ya Nambale pamoja na busi ya yote kwa jumla Conservation agriculture makes crop more resilient to climate change by maximizing organic matter in the soil and reducing greenhouse gases release benefit the environment by improving water quality and air quality increases in biodiversity and habitat protection and reduction in greenhouse gases are all inherent in strategy that protects and preserves land our mission is to address issues on food security through maximizing the use and management of participatory approaches in integrated development leading to vibrant equitable and sustainable communities Parfid, adding value to farmers' livelihoods.